Hi, today's story is about Sanjana. Sanjana has got a great rank in the in the NEET exam. She's also a KVPY scholar and she's also scored great in the JME. So, CFL doesn't train you for any single exam. It prepares you, it teaches you the concepts really well. And that's what happened to Sanjana. Sanjana is the daughter of Dr. Shiv Prasad and Ashwini. So, her elder brother also is doing the medical. So, I'm here to ask Sanjana a few questions that would help you if you are a NEET aspirant or a KVPI aspirant or a JME aspirant. So Sanjana, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, it's a great achievement and I think it's quite a relief to see that you know your work paying off or, you know, in results in the JME and KPPY and the NEET. So a few things for the students. What worked for you? How did you prepare? Uh, mainly NEET is an exam where uh, you know most of the things comes from NCIT. So that is first thing. You should uh, firstly uh, focus on NCIT, be it biology uh, or chemistry. Physics is uh, more like you should uh, you know solve more and more problems. It's not like single type of problems, but then you should you should explore uh, different kinds of problems. So that is for physics. Uh, one of the things that I want to want to ask is so Sanjana, you know that we have students coming and telling that CFL doesn't teach NCRT. CFL only teaches advanced and high conceptual problems doesn't worry about the exams much but we still see students doing well in all the exams why is that so basically cfl focuses on concept theory. so uh, that is the that is the basis for all the exams right so and uh, you know the rest is our work uh, need is mainly ncrt and that is what uh, you know that, that is something everyone can do what is what is something that no one can do is you know motivate us to uh, really like the subject um, and and also you know make us really feel interested about it. So that is the thing that CFL gives us um, and and also you know training us for higher level uh, problems. It it isn't uh, a disadvantage uh, for NEET because you know it gives a bigger picture of uh, what the uh, subject is. Uh, it in physics, uh, chemistry. That is an advantage of CFL. So you were a NEET student and you had to attend uh, advanced math classes and advanced Olympiad level classes. What do you think about that? Uh, I did uh, attend some of the class classes but not uh, all. I didn't focus too much on that. Okay. Um, first year I wasn't clear what I should do, like whether to do NEET or J. So I had focused on uh, everything. I mean, uh, so it, it all started in second PC where I started to you know properly prepare uh, you know that kind of awareness or enlightenment that came in second PC. <laughs> Usually it happens to many people so same goes with me. Um, yeah. So uh, you know attending math classes. Uh, yeah. Towards the end I didn't uh, really focus on that. But advanced physics and uh, chemistry really helped me. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't be able to crack KVP or you know even uh, KCT for that matter because uh, the math classes had did really. So you would advise the students who are doing uh, NEET to attend the math classes as well, and because it's going to help them with the Karnataka CT, it's going to help them with the J mains if they want to. So I would suggest them to really do math in first year because. Okay. Students don't really realize that two years is a really long gap. You know, we can do a lot in two years. We realize that in last two months before the exam, because <laughs> you you literally have to cover everything in the two months, right? Yes. So that's when you realize that I had two years, so much of time. Right. Uh, so yeah, I I would really suggest people to you know uh, do math in first PUC, uh, but then second PUC they need to you know choose which one want to choose. Yeah, which so when did you really choose whether you wanted KPPY, JMAs? You gave all the exams and you did well in all the exams. When did you really know? Uh, it was uh, before KPPY. So KPPY sounded like a challenge to me. It was the exam, uh, there's no exam like yeah. KPPY in True. our country. Advanced and unfortunately it stopped as well. So Yeah, yeah, that is uh, yeah. something bad. But, but then yeah, so KPPY was some yeah kind of a challenge to me. So yeah. I had uh, more than uh, the future of it, that pure science uh, image of it, I had uh, focused on the exams. Uh, then after KVPY, uh, I slowly like built up interest in, in uh, 
you know yes. pure then uh, i knew that if if i had told my parents that i, I would do bsc in a normal college they wouldn't have let me uh, let me do it right uh, it's like there's uh, you know there's a preconception that uh, bsc is and it, it's not really cared for these days it's, it's uh, all about engineering and medicine so that's why if i had cracked chemistry i would get into iisc then parents might allow me to yeah, that was the thing about giving me so then slowly uh, i i left doing math so i didn't really focus on j math but then physics and chemistry is yes, because it is yes very useful yeah. so yeah slowly yeah, i uh, tended towards neat and chemistry so even after getting a such a good rank in neat you are still considering uh, doing pure science as well um i feel like uh, i should i don't know it just feels like i should uh, do it because uh, you know medical it, it's more of saturation and then you go on treating but then uh, i feel like i uh, you know want to learn i, I want to study the subject first of all, uh, physics and uh, physics chemistry or beat maths because yeah. i regret not doing maths in first few years to do that and then explore myself explore the science around you know nature so if you had to contribute something from your science as what would it be it would be more towards climate change plastic minutes waste management really good that is the main reason i want to do it because i want wouldn't be able to do it if i joined medical medical so if there is a high school student listening to this or if there is a high school parent listening to it and they are telling i want my son or daughter to be a doctor and my their children are out there saying no no i want to be a scientist what would you tell them i i think uh, you know parents should let their children to be what they want to be uh, you know it's it's many, in many cases it's like uh, parents dreams wouldn't uh, have been fulfilled so they you know put it on their children so that they should become an ias officer or doctor or whatever So, but then um, you know, without uh, real interest, children wouldn't succeed in it, or, or would do great in it without uh, real passion or interest. Right? So, parents should let their children do whatever they want to do, explore their capacity, their uh, you know inner capacity. So, to the student who's listening to this, how should they master the courage to do what they want to do? I think uh, if they really have a strong passion, and then. Uh, then they should really focus on it build up more on it then uh, i think parents should uh, gradually agree that uh, agree to leave their children to do that because if they are really good at it they will they will really do uh, succeed in that field so and then yeah it's uh, we have just one life and then, uh, if we you know choose it and then down the line after 30 or 40 years we will regret we shouldn't have done So, if a student is wants to pursue the medical path, how they should pursue? How should they prepare from grade ten? Okay, from grade ten. So, first of all, um, you should start from NCERT. So, you should you should read the chapters thoroughly. NEET is um, you know, if if you don't read NCERT, I mean, uh, NEET isn't possible. So, first NCERT, then I I wouldn't tell you to stick to NCERT fully. Uh, first you should focus on it properly then i would tell you to explore uh, you know difficult problems of physics uh, be it uh, any textbook say pathfinder or pc party uh, i know it is for advanced jee advanced and uh, uh, olympiad but then still you should try to explore uh, your capacity uh, that's when you feel the real interest in the subject if it's just ncert it, it's everyone will do it yeah so that is one thing and then uh, one thing i regretted not doing in bio is that you know every time we read a chapter uh, we read it uh, we, we just want to finish the chapter and then we should go to the uh, next one that's what we feel like but then uh, you will realize later after maybe towards the end before the exam or maybe 3 3 or 4 months before the exam that when you read the chapter you wouldn't have you know it feels like you are reading it again for the first time or it feels like did i not uh, remember this why do i not recall this all that thoughts come so first thing you should do is when you read the chapter be it even if you take the whole day 
to slowly digest it you should do that when you read by you uh, try to make as many mnemonics or, or as many connections or uh, any mem- memory techniques as as possible while reading and then keep revising it uh, if you do that right from 10th uh, or you know first year see it need not be 10th it may, might be from first year see or it might be even the beginning of second year see it's never too late to begin so uh, you can do that even then because for me what had happened is uh, that right now what i said i had regretted not doing it so it's like last 3 4 months i i did it so it's why i tell that uh, you should you should you know, you know read the chapter properly if you, if you read it, not just hurry and uh, So Sanjana, I have this challenge at CFL asking students to write down notes when they're in the class, when they're studying. How important is taking down notes? Taking notes is, uh, I think it is important because you know uh, it shouldn't be a, a given material or something. It, you should write it on your own in a notebook. Uh, you should write the main points because uh, you know that when you read it back, you keep you should keep revising it. It's not like you take the notes, you keep it. you know you look it after uh, look it up after uh, two months or so uh, then it would be a waste because you you wouldn't uh, have remembered what you have uh, written did i write it? it it would be like that so writing uh, you know making uh, mind maps or uh, charts uh, sticking on the wall or even uh, making important points revising it it would really help especially in organic chem- biology the subjects where you tend to forget a lot um, if be it organic chemistry so that's right because for organic chemistry i had made a made my own notes till the end i used to refer my notes notes should really so sanjana like we have at cfl some uh, yqv teaching organic, organic chemistry and he teaches at pretty much at the olympiad levels yeah. and students coming and say which i i cannot understand what would you tell to those students organic chemistry is more like fun uh, to do you know you understand it uh, in second poc first poc it, it would be like uh, oh, why can't i understand this or it would be like that uh, same went with me i didn't i hadn't understood uh, organic chemistry in first poc uh, in second poc uh, slowly um, my technique was to track uh, mechanisms so i i used to write down the mechanisms of every reaction uh, otherwise it would be like you know uh, mugging up the reaction which has no sense yes it uh, it would be really hard to do that so first thing in organic chemistry is try to look uh, look, uh, look up in internet also or any other textbook we it advanced also so uh, you have to look up uh, at uh, mechanisms that would really help to understand it um, and then regarding this you know learning uh, higher stuff it is i mean it's not really necessary for the exam uh, for the exam purpose but then it would help you understand a topic properly if you uh, in organic chem- chemistry it's all about understanding if you understand it properly you will uh, you know uh, aram se you can uh, easily do it in the exam so any last it, message yeah. so i wanted to ask you i know i keep on telling that parents play an important role in the success of the children to your parents uh, dr shiv prasad and to ashwini what how have they helped you my parents i mean uh, first of all my father uh, lives in bhadravati so he has to travel uh, here uh, you know back and forth every two weeks uh, come to see us so that is a huge sacrifice and for my uh, mom it's like she used to do all the home course so if she hadn't uh, done it i wouldn't be able to study True. that is like two major uh, things which 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 led me to uh, crack this exams and then my father always used to give me a mentor support he used to say this i don't know it's like <laughs> you should study neatly for me <laughs> or or rank study into study rank will be ready something like that and 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 he used to say this like you you put your honest effort any exam uh, will be possible leave the rest to the god you just put your effort He used to say this. Parents uh, are my mentors, and my brother too, uh, because he uh, yes. he did it uh, yeah. before. He yeah. had given me that, so uh, I he had told me his mistakes, which uh, made me not to repeat those mistakes. So those are the three supports which 
I really can't lie here. Uh, you know, day to day I didn't do it in first few years. It was more like you know, come here, chill and go home. In second few years I really started my preparation. Just as you said, I hadn't uh, you know paid my fully uh, full attention to BSM cells class, uh, physical chemistry class or uh, organic chemistry class. So it was totally disconnected all over the place. But second PUC, I could connect it all. And organic chemistry, you know, it became easy. Physical chemistry too. Physical chemistry is just like physics. So it's more like you know the formulas, you understand the concepts. You can do it. When did you really start? You know, full, full on, full throttle. I think it was towards December of second PUC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, it was going on slowly, yeah. not rigorously. Yeah. Uh, actually, KVPV got shifted three times. Yes, right? true. It was very disappointing. Too. Sorry. Uh, no, it was Useful. good for me. <laughs> First time I hadn't prepared at all. So second time uh, a bit more, okay. but still I regretted not doing, not using full time. Third time I was. Ready for it. All things worked out for you. <laughs> God's grace. <laughs> it was kind of erratic. No one should do that. I, I did waste a lot of time in mean, first few years, so I wouldn't suggest people to do it. Uh, if they start rigorously in first few years, like I, I mean one more thing is that I want to share, uh, tell you. Uh, friends played a major part in CFL yeah. because uh, you know I was a normal student in first few years. I, I could solve normal MCQs, yeah. um, NCRT based MCQs and then uh, whenever I, I used to attend NPNCS class, he used to give us like advanced level problems and Olympiad level, level problems. It was like uh, I read the question and uh, I have the preconception that I can't do it. Yeah. So I didn't even used to try it. So okay, I read it, then I share it other people's answer. And then I just slowly, uh, you know, developed the thought that uh, people like uh, you know Shreya or Adam yeah. Krishna, yeah. many other friends, yeah. uh, Amish, they used to solve it. They used yeah. to come up, come up with an answer in yeah. the class. And it was like, uh, you know, miracle to me. Like, how can they do it? Why can't I do it? So that's when I, that's when I started to think, like, you know, think about a, when he used to give a question, I should think about it. Slowly, one at, uh, on one day, uh, I did answer a, a question in MPN class. That's when I started. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, such a pleasure. It gave me so much happiness. And then uh, later on, no looking back. I mean, I, uh, you know, I sat overnight, even if it took 12 o'clock, I used to do a or CCP because I have to answer it tomorrow in the class. It gave, it gave me so much, it's not in a competitive sense yes. or something, but just pleasure, pure pleasure, yeah. happiness to solve it. Right? Yeah, his one word, very good, it was enough of, that is one thing, so um, friends played a major because uh, I, otherwise I, I wouldn't have looked up uh, or aimed so much, aimed uh, for KPP or uh, needs or need. Because of friends, uh, okay, I considered the exam and then I gave it so So a lot of people tell us that it's very chill at the CFL. What did you feel? It is, uh, there is, <laughs> I was just regretting yesterday. I was, removing, I was removing the papers which I had stuck to the wall and then I read it and <laughs> I wanted to go back to CFL and then, uh, you know, once again study as a student. <laughs> I, I regretted not, you know, doing FNS problems in first, first year. Explore uh, physics, field, you know, physical chemistry or organic chemistry. Hard, uh, solve really hard problems. I didn't do it. I did it towards the end of second PC. But then I couldn't do a lot because True. need yes. uh, exam had come. So. Sanjana, thank you. I wish you all the best and whenever you are in Bangalore, you need to come and talk to the students. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.